Okay then, so now we've done the header component right here and we've consumed the context and that's how we can output this data right here, two books to get through. And we've created that context and we've now surrounded our navbar component with that context provider. So what we need to do now is just address these other components and nest those inside here as well so they can have access to that context. So the next thing I'd like to do is the book list to cycle through the data. We're going to consume that book context and cycle through those books so we can output something for each book. So let us now first of all import React and we also need to import that hook. Use context like so and now we can create this functional component. So SFC tab and we'll call this book list. And then inside this, we're going to use the context. So use context and we want to use the book context right here. So book context, there we go. And then we need to destructure what we want from this context. So I'll say const books and set that equal to this use context hook. Okay, so we have the data we need now, books, and inside our template, we just need to cycle through those books and output something for each one. But before we do that, what I'd like to do is check, does the books array have any length? If it does have length, then we want to cycle through them. If it doesn't, then we're just gonna output something else instead. So I'm gonna say return, then books.length. This is gonna be a ternary operator, so we're gonna evaluate books.length, and then if it does have length, then it's going to return this JSX right here. If it doesn't, then after the colon, it will return a different bit of JSX. So this bit, first of all, we'll do. It's just going to be a div with a class name equal to empty to say, hey, we've got no books. And then we'll just say no books to read. Hello, free time. Okay, so that's as simple as that. Do we need to close this div off? Yes, we do, so close that off. Um, okay, let's delete one of those. So this is what we're gonna return if this doesn't have length. Now, if it does, we want to return something else. So in that case, we want to return a div with a class name equal to book hyphen list like so, and we can close that off. And then inside here, just a UL, and then we want to output an li tag, or rather not an li tag, we want to output a book details component for each individual book. So let's map through those books first of all by saying books.map, and then we'll say for each book, we want to return something. So we'll say return a little bit of JSX, and that is gonna be a book details components where the book prop that we pass down is going to be equal to the individual book that we're currently iterating right here. We also need to pass a key into this. So that is going to be equal to the book dot ID. And that's all there is to it. We don't need a closing tag. This is self closing. Okay, so now we're returning this bit of JSX for each individual book inside this books array if they have length. If they don't have length, then we're just gonna output this template instead. So that's all we're doing, a ternary operator to evaluate the length. If there is length, output this. If there's not, output this. So now we need to do this book details component right here. And for some reason, I've got this import statement at the top, not sure where that came from. We don't need that. But anyway, now what we can do is go to this book details over here and flesh out this. So first things first, import React, and also we want use context, so use context like so. And then down here we can say SFC tab, and this is called book details. So remember, we take in a prop called book right here, so we need to get that using a little destructuring up here, and we just want the book like so. So now we have access to this individual book inside this component. Now, I also want in this component to consume the context because I want, if we open this up, this function, remove book. Because when we click on an individual book inside this book details component, I want to trigger that function to delete that book, to cross it off. So I'm gonna say const and then remove book is equal to use context. And we're gonna use the book context like so. 
Okay, so then now we want to do our template for this, and this is going to be an li tag because we're currently inside a ul. Remember, we're returning a book details component for each book inside a ul tag. So each one of these needs to be an li tag, and inside that, I'm going to do a div for the title and a div for the author. So div class name is equal to title, first of all. And inside that, we just want to output the book.title. Remember, we have the book property because we got it as a prop. And then below that, I'm going to duplicate it, change this to author, and then also this property to author because we want to output the author here. So that should work. That should show us the book. And in fact, let me save this. And also, we need to come over here and actually import book details. So let me do that now. Import book details from and it's dot forward slash book details because we're in the same folder so now if i save this and come over here we should see oops no we don't because we need to nest book list inside app so let's do that now book list right there okay so now if we save and come over here we should see this thing right here okay yeah they're outputting these books to the browser so that's good we're now cycling through that state and showing it in the browser. However, like I said, when you click on one of these books, I want it to delete that book. So now let's go back into book details and attach a click event to this li tag. So I'm going to say on click and set that equal to something. And inside here, I'm going to do an inline arrow function. And in fact, we don't need these extra curly braces because it's all in one line. And I'm just going to use that function, remove book and we need to pass in an id to this function remember because inside book context we take in the id and that's how we filter the books array so let's pass in the id of the current book we have by saying book dot id so then if we save this now and come over here then if we click on one of these it's going to remove it and you can see this goes to one as well because that data is updating and if we click on this again it goes to zero and now we can see no books to read hello free time awesome so this is all working however it looks a bit cruddy at the minute so what i'm going to do again is just copy some uh, css from my repo and i'm going to paste it over here inside the css file if i can find it down here so what are we doing well we're just giving the book list div a margin of 20 pixels and remember that is this thing over here so the surrounding div of this component and then in the ul of that we're stripping out the padding and giving it a list style type of none so it doesn't have those little circles to the left of it then each li is going to have this purpley color background border radius uh, some padding and then a cursor pointer so when we hover over it's that little finger and we know we can click it a margin of 10 pixels top and bottom zero left and right when we hover over one of these li tags one of these books then the opacity is going to go down so it's going to fade a little bit and the text decoration is going to be a line through and that kind of indicates that you can click it and get rid of that book which is what we want to happen okay so then the title property inside the book details which is this thing over here we have a title and an author the title property font weight bold is white and a little larger than the normal font size the author is a little smaller in font size and more of a gray color then we have this empty div which is if we look inside book list this thing right here when there's no books and all we're saying is give this a margin of 20 pixels all the way around and text align center so hopefully this should make the application start to look a little bit better if we go over here I'm going to refresh because then we'll get the state back because we're not storing this state anywhere. It's not in a database. Every time we reload the application, it's going to reinitialize that state inside the context to be this right here. So let me refresh and we see these two things. And when we hover, it looks like we can click them to get rid of them and we can do. And then when they're gone, we get this message instead. So we're making pretty good progress now. We've now created three of the four components we need to do. The only one left is this book form right here to add a new book. And we're going to tackle that one in the next video.